you want to DJ on an Android device, in my opinion, there's only one app that you could actually get a professional DJ feel from, and that is DJ Pro for Android. And in this short video, I'm going to show you some reasons why this is by far the best DJ app for an Android device. Number one is going to be the list of supported DJ controllers. There is a decent list of professional and affordable controllers that you could simply connect to your device and start DJing right away with them being pre mapped And the controller integration is perfect and they also support Bluetooth controllers, which, is which are becoming even more popular like this Hercules controller. Next is going to be the touch controls. I've tried every DJ app for Android and some of them, the touch controls don't really work that well, but for this app, they really dialed in the touch controls to give you that professional DJ feel. If you wanna do scratching or turntablism techniques, they have some really advanced ways for you to control the app. Number one is simply just the regular touch controls using the jog wheels. It works just as you would expect it. And then there's some tricks too, like with the crossfader. So if the crossfader is to the left, you could just tap it to go in the middle, tap it to go to the right, really easy to control. And then also even the knobs, even though they're really small, they're still really easy to control because you could just touch it and then move your finger anywhere and control the setting. Next is going to be the layout. They were able to fit so many amazing features by designing the layout very smart, very smartly, optimizing all the real, real estate on the screen. And a lot of Android devices are gonna be smaller than iPads or even on the phone, but you could still see and do a lot of things at the same time. So for example, we have our jog wheels here, but if you wanna see your waveforms, we have this expansion. Beautiful waveforms, some of the best waveforms out of any DJ app, very detailed. You could get a visual feel of what's going on with these waveforms and they are active. So it does the same thing as moving the jog wheel, which is gonna be important because to get to more features, you press this feature button over here, and then we lose the jog wheel, which would be a problem if we didn't have pretty much an alternative jog wheel here, so you could do everything while this is open. So I'll get back to those features in a second. I wanna show you this, these middle features. So this one over here is a professional mixer. So you could just do a simple volume. You have your levels there, gain, and then a filter. But if you press the EQ button, now we have a traditional lows, mids, and highs, and you could even control the crossfader with Neuromix. So, and then we have a sampler and a looper here. You could kind of make your own beats. So now we're gonna open these features here, and then we have Neuromix. You could easily separate different stems of the track. So you could cut out the drums, cut out the vocals, really cool for making mashups and mixing songs together. You could do the vocals of one song, the instrumentals of another, and there's a lot of different ways you could control it. Next, we have up to 16 cue points. So there's eight here. You could press these three dots and get to up to 16 cue points. But what's really cool about these cue points is if you press these, this pencil button, you could change the color up to 16 different colors and on and it works on Android it'll change the color of the pads if you have touch activated pads and then we have loops auto loop save loops a huge list of effects and different ways to control them you can do three effects at a time and there's a lot more features you could do but that's just a short example of all the amazing feet all the amazing professional advanced features Next is you could use headphones by pre with pre-queuing by splitting the output. And last, they have an amazing auto mix, which isn't cheating. It'll use AI technology to mix your songs together if you have to take a break or something. And if you wanna see my full beginner tutorial on this software, check out this video over here.